studies carried out by scientists from the Institute of Forensic Genetics at the University of Copenhagen have concluded that all blue-eyed people share a common ancestor, someone who lived 6,000 to 10,000 years ago near the area by the Black Sea. Researchers analyzed and compared the unique genetic makeup of the chromosomes in the iris from 155 blue-eyed individuals from diverse regions such as Denmark, Turkey, and Jordan. All of the subjects that participated in the study had the exact same genetic mutations in specific chromosomes of the eye with very little variation on the genes, indicating that the mutation responsible for blue eyes first arose and spread relatively recently. Scientists conclude that this blue-eyed family spread out from an area north of the Black Sea following the last ice age. These people were among the Proto-Indo-European Aryans who subsequently spread agriculture into Western Europe and later rode horses into Iran and India, explains Professor Hans Eiberg of the Department of Cellular and Molecular Medicine at the University of Copenhagen. Blue eyes are a recessive trait, and the gene must be inherited from both parents. Green eyes involve a related but different gene that is recessive to brown but dominant to blue. Following the ending of the last ice age, many Europeans inherited this rare gene associated with blue-eyed people that differentiated them from the rest of the human races. Indeed, it appears that the elite and nobility that organized the earliest known agricultural civilizations all shared this trait, seemingly coming from the same bloodline. When we look to ancient Egypt, arguably one of the world's oldest known civilizations, we find many blonde and fair-haired mummies. Since World War II, Western academia backed and lobbied by politically motivated forces at the United Nations has pushed for a Marxist-inspired multicultural view of history, which has ignored archaeological evidence in favor of political correctness. However well-intentioned, this false perspective has cast much confusion over human origins, who we are and how we came to be. Another one of the oldest documented civilizations, credited with having the first writing, schools, courts, and many other firsts were the ancient Sumerians of Mesopotamia. The ancient Sumerians thought that blue eyes were a sign of the gods, that is the Anunnaki. The Sumerian nobility were blue-eyed and fair-haired, as most of their busts show. These blue-eyed statues, pictured below, are of Sumerians from the early, mid-third millennium BC. They, the Sumerians, certainly belong to the same racial division of mankind as the nations of Europe. They are scions of the Caucasian stock, Arthur Keith, quoted in their excavations, 1927. Gautama Buddha's physical body is traditionally regarded as having the 32 characteristics of a great man. These 32 characteristics are described throughout the Pali Canon, and are also regarded as being present in Kakravardhan kings as well. Number 29 on this ancient list is Eyes Deep Blue. 2,000 years ago a mysterious and little-known civilization, with a blue-eyed elite, ruled the northern coast of Peru. Its people were called the Mush. They built huge pyramids that still dominate the surrounding countryside, some well over a hundred feet tall. Archaeologists working at Peru's Huacapucana ruins recently pulled a blue-eyed mummy from an ancient tomb thought to be from the ancient Wari culture that flourished before the Incas. Piercing blue eyes undimmed by the passing of 1,300 years, this is the Lady of the Mask, a mummy with striking blue eyes, whose discovery could reveal the secrets of a lost culture at the Huacapucana Pyramid located in Lima, Peru. It is the first time a tomb from the region's wary culture has been discovered intact and gives historians the chance to learn about the ancient pre incan civilizations. The Lord of Sapan's tomb, pictured below, is held by some archaeologists to be one of the most important archaeological discoveries in this region of the world in the last 30 years, as the main tomb was found intact and untouched by thieves. He was called Viracocha by the Incas, Kukulten by the Mayas, Quetzalcoatl by the Aztecs, Yucumats in Central America, Bodhan in Palenque and Zama in Izamal. He and in some cases his men were described as being tall, bearded, with white skin, and beautiful emerald blue eyes. Fray Wantor Kamada, 
the Franciscan missioner, who collected traditions about Quetzalcoatl from the natives of Old Mexico, says, Quetzalcoatl had blonde hair, and wore a black robe sewn with little crosses of red color. Image below published by the Secretary of Education, Mexico. Scientists stress that the genetic variation, as the press release puts it, is neither a positive nor a negative mutation. That's a bit disingenuous, as the mutation also produces greater instance of blonde hair, sexually selected for even today, and fair skin, which confers a survival advantage by stimulating greater production of vitamin D in sun-starved northern European countries near the Arctic Circle, where blue eyes are still most prevalent. 95% of Europeans in Scandinavian countries have blue eyes. They are also found to have a greater range of hair and skin color. Comparatively, Europe has a wider variety of hair color and skin pigment than is found in any other continent in the world. These mutations are relatively recent as Europe was colonized only a few thousand years ago, say mainstream scientists. Through interbreeding, the brunette with blue eyes, Neanderthal type, was evidenced about 35,000-25,000 years ago by invading Cro-Magnon types from the Atlantic, tall, Rh negative blood type, Solutrian tool kit. The question really is, why did we go from having nobody on Earth, known, with blue eyes 10,000 years ago to having 20 or 40 percent of Europeans having blue eyes now? John Hawks of the University of Wisconsin-Madison said, This gene does something good for people. It makes them have more kids. In contrast, most mammals on Earth share the normal form of the gene. The six-letter sequence is exactly the same among mice, horses, cows, rats, dogs, cats, monkeys, chimpanzees and humans with brown eyes. No word on what gives Siberian Huskies and Siamese cats blue eyes.